Okay, to finish off the checklist, the material is based on whatever it tells you to put in Canvas. If it doesn't, it's an implied 6061 T6 aluminum. All dimensions are four places or uh, constraints. When I come up here, all these numbers in the sketch have to be four places. All these numbers in the measurements, that all has to be four places. Okay, the specification tree will be done right in the very beginning where I can see the construction geometry or geometrical sets are on top and the part body is underneath those. And then you'll have the pad and the sketch. It should be in that order and any features applied beyond that. Nothing should be in the construction geometry except for the point, which I failed to open up to show the point coordinate. Damn it. That should have the point coordinate showing. Can't believe I did that. Um, I don't want to see duplicate features. I shouldn't see extra sketches. If I see a sketch 6, 7 just sitting in there, it means you accidentally copied them. Or went into trying to change a sketch and you accidentally made a sketch. Okay, so I won't see you duplicate sketches. I don't want to see a bunch of extra features. 16 and 17 are the same thing. There shouldn't be four pads, just the one pad and one chamfer, not a whole bunch of anything else. Um, I want to repeat showing the engineering ISO view. When you put it, when you create the ISO view, everything goes into hide, and you got to save the part in that environment. And that before you do anything, make sure that part body is an in-work object. All right, I'll do another video on how to create the uh, engineering ISO view.